It's siren time. That's a famous catchphrase, of course, from the Siren series. We're all familiar with it. It's the next level with Shigeru Fujita. Are just the, the down on his luck cop. Oh man, how does he get in these situations? <laughs> these things always happen to Shigeru. Yep, don't want to do that. Want to start this level. I think we could have figured out that this is a cursed place, but we have it confirmed, and now we have to escape with Ichiko. There's a limit to ammo. Yeah, we don't have that much. Also, there might be a digging tool can be found in a place where such a tool is commonly required. If we need a digging tool. Okay, so this guy, Sunio Ota, is now a Shibito, though we don't really know anything about him. We saw him in one cutscene earlier with Shu, but we don't know who he is. Let's take a look at our items. Yeah, we don't have that much ammo. We and we have a flashlight. So he knew Shigeru. They knew each other. Shigeru was born and grew up on this island, but he left. So they did recognize each other. Uh, what did it say we want to do? We want to go to the power control station and turn off the lights. Well, we have been on this level before with, um, Soji. Power control station is over there in the upper right. Let's head over. Do. I want to do this. Switch the breaker off. So we're cutting off the power. And that'll make it harder for Shibito to see us. Alright, so it wants us to enter the underground level and head for Observation Post S. So specifically there. Alright, Observation Post S. We can see it on our map. It's over here. So, we're over here. We're gonna have to go down some stairs to a lower level. Then we're gonna have to work our way around... ...to get up to over here. You might guess there's going to be Shibito in this area here. Speaking of which, why don't we sight jack and see if we can see anyone. There's someone in the darkness walking around. Looks like someone's outside. 
Walking on some stairs, maybe. There's someone underground. That is Ichiko. Alright. I don't have that many bullets. I guess there's no real reason to do that. Oh no, there was a reason to do that. That's right. Because I turned the light on, that means Takayake is going to be able to do a mission two later on. Oh, and actually there's something else I want to do. So I mentioned that we saw this level before with Soji and Shu, and they started the level. He's still down. They started the level here, down here in this tunnel. This is where they started from. And there's something lying here on the wall. Well, on the floor, by the wall. It's a dog collar. We got Tsukasa's dog collar. I guess Shu must have left it here. Alright. Let's head down. Actually, the stairs are on the other side. Actually, not this one. That one just leads to a dead end, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, the hallway is caved in if we tried to go through these stairs. So we want to go through the other stairs. Now, we want to think about the route we want to take. So we could go up here to the center area and from there we could hang a left and make it to there which is where it's saying we need to go but there might be someone in our way so another option we could do is go right and up here and then go down an additional level Actually, that's over here, to the weapon storage. Which we could use to pass over to the left. Now, is there anyone in front of us? More importantly, is there anyone with a gun? Well, he has a gun. He's up and he has a gun, so we probably need to get moving. Gonna turn. Actually, I can't see anything if I turn my light off, so... Let's sneak up in here. And there's someone there. Yeah, there. Soldier. He dropped, uh, he dropped a knife. Ichiko, where are you? You wanna... You wanna get that? There you go. Someone else is- someone shooting? There he is. Can I pick up his gun? Yeah, there we go. Three out of six. Alright, disarmed him. And Ichiko now has a gun herself. No, a w sorry, a knife herself. Um, alright, so now, I'm just thinking about... Is there anything I need here? Or maybe we can just take the direct path. Uh-oh. Let me get a melee weapon here. I mean, it's not a great thing because it'll give this guy a gun, but at least I'll have a melee weapon. And we should be out of here by the time he gets up. 
Um, actually, you know, I probably should shouldn't I probably should not leave him with this gun, just in case he gets up. I don't have I still don't have a melee weapon, but I guess that'll be fine. Hey, it's the red tower. Look up there. Now the reason I'm coming up here is because there's like a little, you know, it's a fun little thing that might be a little difficult to find. You might recognize this kind of thing from Siren 1. You want to just find a specific location. Like these ruins right here. Let's see if she says something. We can have her hide here. Oh, yeah? Okay. You might remember in Ichiko's previous mission on the on the on the Bright Wind, we picked up a fish hook and fishing line. Why did we do that? Because since we did that, now that we're on this level, we can have her hide in those ruins and she'll see something and she'll use her fishing hook and line to pick up a key. What is that key? I don't know because it's not in it's not in our inventory. Ichiko is holding on to that. But because she found that key, that means she'll be able to do something else in another level. There was a similar puzzle to this in the first game where you had to hide Tomoko in a certain place and then she would find a key. Anyway, we got that. What we need to do is now focus on our mission. It wants us to go to observation post S. So let's head... Let's see, are we heading in the right direction? Yeah, I think we are. This guy's up. How many bullets do I have? Nah, nothing. Okay. If I... If... Oh, wait, hold up. Hold on, do I have... No, no, I had some spare bullets, okay. I have some spare bullets I can reload into this. However, if I left the gun with this guy, he would reload it with his infinite enemy bullets and have a gun now. Oh. I left her there, didn't I? Well, she can come here. Is he going that way? It would be great if he did. No? Okay. Here she comes. All right. Let's just make sure we're heading in the right way. Yeah, if we go this way, we'll end up in an underground path, and then that lets us get over here, the observation post south, which is where we need to go. I just remind myself of something. There isn't anything else around here, is there? Just want to check. Yep, there's a guy down there. That's something. Probably, we probably don't need to go down there. We probably can just head this way. Actually, no. Because this is blocked by debris. We need some kind of digging tool. We need to find a digging tool. Uh, where could the digging tool be? That guy coming after us. Not sure. I can't see him. Alright, digging tool. We need to find... Where could a digging tool be? There's a guy down here. How many bullets do I have on me? Zero left. Only three bullets in the gun. Guy down these stairs. He, he was back to us. Now he's coming. 
He didn't know I was there, so I killed him in one. How many bullets are in his gun? Nine. That's a good trade. It's a good trade. Okay. I thought there might be something else we had to find in these corridors. Not here, anyway. We have to find it somewhere else. Alright, what do you suppose you can use as a digging tool? Well, a shovel might be reasonable. But where could we find a shovel? I believe... It did say at the beginning of the level that you could find a shovel where a shovel might be used. Which is not the most useful advice. <laughs> Someone here? Is he facing this way? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Now we got a machine pistol. This is fully loaded with 25 bullets. Okay, things are going okay. They're going fine. Now hold on. Does that look like a digging tool? I think it does. We got a military shovel. Oh, actually, I switched weapons when I did that, because this is a weapon. Alright, let me switch that. Then switch my weapon to my pistol. And then pick up the shovel. Now I have my machine pistol, and I have a military shovel. SDF-issued equipment has a wide range of uses, like for making camp or for use in rescue operations. And my machine pistol has been ado was adopted by the Self-Defense Forces in 1999, carried by paratroopers for self-defense. I don't think they're using it for defense purposes right now, I'm gonna say. Let's head back, and hopefully we don't get shot. There's a guy that might be up over here at this point. Yeah. Oh, where is he? There he is. We're tired. It's been a rough day. Alright, so the observation shaft is to the right. And we have our shovel. And we have our Ichiko. Alright, remove debris. We can pass through the hole now. I mean, we didn't dig the whole thing out, but we digged enough. Come on. Let's get up this ladder. Very slowly. Get up this ladder. No real hurry, really. Alright, we've made it to Observation Post South. And just so happens, there's an exit from the level right here. Mission accomplished. It could have gone much worse. Um, let's take a look at any archive items we might have. We got one. We got number 60. Uh, which we got, we got Tsukasa's dog collar because we inspected the tunnel. 
A leather dog collar for large dogs with a broken buckle. Attached to the collar is a dog tag with the following inscription. Sukasa of Jildal, 2004-3-3, female. I don't know what Jildal is supposed to mean, but it's Sukasa's dog collar. And Shu left it behind. All right, so no second mission for this one yet. But a second objective has appeared in, an, in a previous one, Mamaru. This is the amusement park level. There's now a mission two on this one. Well, you remember mission one, where we opened the seven gates of the underworld on the strangest first date ever. And, uh, and we ended up with chest face. So we have a mission two for this one, which we will be doing when we come back for more Siren 2.